Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an image based multi scatter with Bifrost. So I have these masks from Odini where I created the terrain and I want to use them to distribute different plants and trees. Besides those procedural masks, I also have a pattern in Photoshop to create uh, mask tiles for the different plants to be scattered in the middle part of the mountain. I also have converted the PNG images to EXRs since we're going to take advantage of the EXR reader from Sean Willis. You can just download the binaries from GitHub and it's quite easy to install. So let's start by reading the image. I will be using a value note set to string to paste the path of the file. Now you want to convert the image to vertex colors. And if we preview the result, we're indeed getting the data. If you need a more detailed map, just increase the amount of polygons. So there is a native option to import textures and convert them to vertex colors that you can later use in Bifrost. That option is a bit hidden under the Paint Vertex Tool options. Since I have several textures, I created a simple script to automate the process. Basically, iterating over each texture in a specified folder and using the import file flag in the vertex paint context after creating a new color set. And we do have a color set for each texture. The problem with this setup is that depending on the poly count of your mesh, you may end up with huge files that besides the file size can be hard to manage and can easily get corrupted. So in the end I went for the EXR to vertex paint approach. Let me just show you how I did the setup for the multi-image based scatter. So I have set the different image paths as strings with a build array. Now with a for each we can pass the array of images and the mesh. And the next step is to copy the read EXR and image to vertex color nodes and paste them inside the loop. Now, a very important step is to set the array of images as iteration target so it can evaluate each image. And the last step is to output the color with a getGeo property set to color and convert it to scalar. Now we can use the output of the loop to cycle through each image using the getFrom array. And we have all the masks available to use for the scatter. Ok, let me just show you how to use the masks in the custom scatter. So you want to use the noise input, which can also be used for textures. In this case vertex colors converted from textures. And you can cycle through each texture to pick the desired location of the scatter. You could even create a for loop with the custom scatter inside but you would have to have global settings for all the instances, which is not ideal. So in my original scene I created sev several scatter nodes, as you can see in this uh, simple example, and just get the image from the array. And yeah, this is how I set up my final scene, let me know if you have any questions and feel free to grab the file and scripts from my Patreon. Thank you and see you next time!